Hey everybody, Private Cast come at you. Uh, hey, good night on the old court swing. Can I have a little PPR? But let's get right into it. Murda, if you have just been living underneath a rock, you would know that, uh, that Murda has exploded. Uh, Hurricane Murda has landed and is taking on everybody. I mean everybody. What's going on, you say? Well, let's start with yesterday. Fitz News planted... Uh, or uh, printed a bombshell story uh, talking about one other than our own Becky Hill and Jira 785, the egg lady. Apparently 785 had her record sealed on everything that had to do with her removal, uh, and uh, she wants them unsealed now. Judge Newman sealed them, and the only reason, the only reason Judge Newman sealed them, as he said, was to protect her confidentiality and her anonymity as a juror. That's it. No other reason. So why then, when her attorney, Joe McCullough, asked for them to be unsealed, the state of South Carolina, the good old boys that put out Murnau away, have said, no, we're not going to unseal it. Hmm. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you unseal it? Well, they responded today, the state did, and said they are not going to unseal her records, her personal records about her removal, because of ongoing matters. What? What? What are ongoing matters, you say? Well, as far as I know, Juror 785 doesn't have any ongoing matters going on. So, did the state just say, without saying it, that they are investigating one Becky Hill for jury tampering? Is that what they're trying to say? Ongoing matters are? They didn't say ongoing investigation. They said ongoing matters. They're being very vague in their answer. Well, what's the point, you would ask? I mean, what does she really want? She wants everything. She wants the email, the anonymous email that went to Judge Newman. She wants the sled investigation, according to her tenants. She wants the full, in-camera, word-by-word, what was said in the judge's chambers. Um... She wants emails. Now, granted, her and her attorney only have been able to view these items, and they have not been able to do anything with them. But if they know what's in them, they know that the state has probably lied or is lying about what they have said happened during the investigation of 785, the tenants, the removal, the Facebook, um, the anonymous email, everything. They could have lied about it all. I mean, it's certainly not to keep it from Becky Hill, because Becky was there the whole time, saw everything, was there. So it's not to keep it from Becky Hill. Who are they trying to keep it from? You? Us? The American people? People of South Carolina? But why? Because it would prove a lie or lies about the removal of her, which leads right into what I'm about to tell you again, not again, but what I'm about to tell you is that the attorneys for Alec Murda today filed important paperwork for the South Carolina Supreme Court to ask for a hearing on the Judge Justice Toll evidentiary hearing. This is hard to keep track of, but I'm just going through it. I'm paraphrasing here, but according to them, when an elected official goes into the jury room and tells them of the guilt of the defendant for book and money and fame and whatever else, that that should have been declared a mistrial. And it wasn't. Not only it wasn't, 785 was removed. And from everything that I've read and seen and heard, she was still undecided, but likely, likely, the person who was going to vote not guilty. Now, would she be the only one? I don't know. There was three or four other people that went into that jury room with a not guilty. Maybe she could have convinced the whole group to get not guilty just to get out of there. So like, I'll get your cigarettes. I don't know. But the point is, she was removed and then found guilty 
Hmm, interesting. The day of. Very interesting. So, state of, state of South Carolina, let's, let's just be openly transparent here and let's get those records out for everybody to see and uh, see who's lying. Because Becky Hill already knows what's in that documents, so let's just see him. Now, jumping back to Murdha, if the state of South Carolina, the Supreme Court, declines to hear that study, the process then goes back to the South Carolina State Court of Appeals, uh, and then they go through the appeal process. Uh, this thing is far from over. Uh, I suggest you go check out Fitz News. There's all kinds of information about it. Uh, but uh, Murdoch's story is wildfire again. And as I said in the beginning, uh, Hurricane Murdoch has landed and uh, it's taken names. So watch because y'all thought I was crazy talking about this, but this thing ain't going away. It's not going away. We'll see you later. Crabbit Cascot.